to the Georgetown University College of Arts and Sciences class of 2020. Here we are. Uh, I want to start by saying this wasn't plan A. And uh, I should give a proper credit for that line to one of my favorite comedians of all time. When I was actually at Georgetown, I graduated in 2000. And in, in the late 90s, I was a door person at the Washington, D.C. Improv. And, and I would bring nachos to people's tables and I would uh, bring people uh, over to the to their tables and I and I would the best part was I could watch comedians and Jake Johansson had this joke where he said a friend of mine said to me Jake why would someone choose to have sex with a plastic doll and Jake said well it wasn't plan a clearly a series of things went wrong that arrived us at this point and that's what this is the speech today was not plan A. I was not meant <laughs> to be <laughs> giving it to you uh, through my uh, iPhone in New York, and you were not meant to be at your parents' house who you were trying to avoid by going to college in the first place. This wasn't plan A. But I will say this, in my experience, I have about 20 years on you, in my experience since graduating from college, I have found that, that so often uh, the things that, that you love the most were not your plan A. Um, and rarely do you get your plan A. When I, when I was a freshman at Georgetown, I, I showed up and I auditioned for the improv troupe. And I got in and uh, these are people who became some of my best friends for my life. And, uh, but we would always complain <laughs> that the school didn't support us, they didn't give us a theater, and they made us perform in Bulldog Alley. I don't know if you know that place in, in the Levy Center, which is the, it's basically a room that they store chairs in. That's where we performed. And, uh, and we'd also perform in common rooms, in dorm common rooms, which is the room, of course, that has the microwave and the television. We performed next to the microwave. Often people would watch television while we performed. It was not plan A. After I, graduated, after I graduated from school, I wanted to be a screenwriter. And, but that's not a job listing on, on ZipRecruiter or whatever. And so, uh, and so I drove my mom's station wagon around the country to the hole in the wall comedy clubs and that would pay me anywhere from zero to $25. And I would stay on my friend's couches and friends of friends' couches, and then I would drive home <laughs> to my air mattress in Queens. I just never seemed to get a good night's sleep. It was not plan A. And, uh, and I know that this, this video is not what you wanted your graduation to be. You did not want to spend the day that's the culmination of all of the hard work and heart and studying and brain power that you put into this great achievement, which is real. You don't wanna watch a video from, from a comedian you may or may never have ever heard of on YouTube. This sucks. Not only does this, does this suck, but the whole larger circumstance sucks. People are dying. We're in a global pandemic. The job market is shot. And here we are. But what I'm here to tell you, your 20 year in the future self, is that the, the, the challenge of this moment will be what defines you for the better. I mean, you've been robbed of this moment and that might be the best case scenario because you'll be forced to create that moment for yourself, which is what you are meant to do. This will make you stronger and more agile and more flexible. And you might ask, Mike, I just want to graduate. Why would I want to be stronger and more flexible 
and more agile. And I'm not sure. But I will say this. The heroes of this moment, um, the, the delivery people, the doctors, the nurses, the scientists, are working so hard and and they are living in what is not their plan A. And, and as a matter of fact, they've been training for that for probably years and years and years of not receiving uh, their plan A. Um, and when I look at my life, I think if I were handed my plan A, I may never have gone to Georgetown. I may never have met my best friends in the improv troupe. I may never have met John Glavin, who is right here, possibly. Um, so I'll end by saying this. Celebrate your plan C. Cheer for your plan D. Hope for your plan E, that's what will make you the graduate you were meant to become. And congratulations on it not working out as planned. Thank you. <laughs>